What we're going to do is we're going to use an AWR diff report, which just like a Unix diff command is going to compare two different entities. In this case, the AWR reports that represent two different execution periods for your system or systems. The way you do this is you take one set of AWR snapshots to produce a reporting period, you make some sort of change, and then you produce another set of, of snapshots, and then you can compare them. Pretty simple. So the first thing you get out of this using the AWR diff report SQL script is the overall header, which gives you a summary of the execution periods, the timelines involved. It's important to look at that as a little tip here that keeping straight which is the first and the second period in the diff report is of course going to be crucial to getting a good analysis out of it. So it'll tell you what your configurations were on the system. That could be useful, for example, if you're going to compare performance on, say, a large SMP box versus a cluster of uh, commodity blades or something like that, or even just going to new hardware or non-exadata to exadata. A lot of uses for this kind of diff report. And here's an example of a diff report from an actual customer case that shows you the value of it. In this case, the customer had done all their testing in UAT, user acceptance test, everything was running fine. And then they performed testing in their actual production hardware just before they went live. And they found their production hardware, it wasn't running nearly as well. The performance was far below what they had experienced in test on identical hardware. Now, normally we're thinking, ah, I got it. It's gotta be that optimizer. It's always the optimizer's fault, right? Well, not so fast, because in this case, what we see when we compare the first, which was the UAT case, and the second, which is the production hardware case where performance isn't good, is you'll notice that it's got this weight event showing up, NQSS contention. Now, if you're like me, I didn't know what that meant uh, when I initially saw this, and we looked in my Oracle support and found out that SS contention, that's for sort segment uh, contention. In other words, it's got contention on the temp file. Turned out the root cause here had nothing to do with the optimizer. It was that their storage was misconfigured on their newly deployed production system. Can you imagine how much time you would have wasted looking for optimizer issues or query plan changes when none of that applied here? The diff report lets you hone in on the right area very quickly.